Hi everyone, welcome back. In this era of AI, guess it will be fun asking AI aid you in writing your PLC codes. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate to you how ChatGPT can aid you write simple or even complex PLC program provided you feed it with the right information. TI Porter will be used in this example. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. The easiest way to achieve this is to use a test-based PLC language such as Structured Test ST, popularly known as SCL in Siemens PLC. What is SCL? It means Structured Control Language which is built on Pascal and used for advanced programming in Siemens PLCs. Now let's move on and then ask ChatGPT to model four conveyors that will start in sequence without any delay when a start push button is pressed. To do this, we go to Google and then search for ChatGPT. Great, I scroll down and then click on this very one. Now we have it. Now let's ask our question. We type write a TIA portal program in SCL to start four conveyors in sequence without time delay when a start push button is pressed. Great. Now I click on enter to see the magic happens. We can see it's giving us an assumption and then from there the code is generated, explanation is given and then the logic is also being explained. Great. I now move to the top of the code. We can see the variable has been declared, the start button, the conveyors, and then a variable called conveyor active. Okay, when we move to this section, the block of the logic, we can see an if statement is being used. We use a case statement. And then when it's at case zero, we can see what happens within the block of code. And then when we are at case three, we can also see what happens in the block of code. We can see that the conveyor is set to true and then the variable conveyor active is set to false for sorry at case four. Great. We now look at the explanation. We can see that the variable is being explained. We can see the logic also being explained at this section. Perfect. We now move to TI Porter. I have this project already opened. I now move to this section into this CPU and then move to the block, the program block, and then add a new block. I will add an FB since we have some static variables we need to declare. I click on OK. Great. So we have this interface. This open end is where we will write the block of our code. And then at the top section here, is where we will declare our variables. Okay, so I move to chat GPT and then copy the first variable, which is the start button, which is an input. So I assign it to the input variable. And then the type is a boo. I move to the output, which is conveyor one, our first output. And then assign it to the output variable. And then it's also a boo. I cannot drag it through to generate the other four items. Okay, I have five here. Let me delete this very one. Great. We can move on and then move to the static variable, which is right here. I select it and then need to copy this conveyor active variable and then assign it as a static variable in TI Porter. The data type is an integer. So I need to change it to int. Great. And then the initial value is zero. We have all our variables set. We now move to this section, copy our logic program from this very section to the bottom. I copy and then I can paste it right here. Great. We can see that there are no errors indicated in this section, which is, means everything is fine. I can now move on and then 
compile this particular program so I click on the compilation icon and then we can see that there are no errors now let's start the simulator to do this I click on this particular icon great to launch the simulator okay we need to establish connection we can see the PLC sim is indicated I click on search and then it has been able to identify the simulator CPU I select it and click on load it will take some time okay great I click on load again okay I now need to ask TI Porter to start the model when the download is done click on finish and then we can see the PLC is in run mode now I'll move on and then compile the project again come to this section now and then move to the OB1 and then drag our FB onto this network okay it's generated an instant DB which has been okayed now we have our structure we have our input right here our assign an input to it so our assigned I0.4 to this section and this is going to be our input command for the output I will leave it as such I now click on compile and then click on download to download the project okay I click on load and then we can see everything is set and I'll go online okay so the main OB is online I go to the block and then let me pop out the block that is the FB and now align it correctly and then I will go online here too as well and we can see it's showing false because our start push button is not pressed and then the if statement is not executed great and now activate the start great and then we can see all the conveyors came on in that sequence and then we can see that the if statement is true and then the body of the code is being executed we can see the variable active keeps changing from 1 up to 4 indicating that it's changing at the mercy of the CPU cycle time okay I now switch the input off and we can see that the output still remains on because there is no logic to reset our output but we can see that the if statement is false and then the block of code is not being executed okay now let's add a bit of code so that we'll be able to reset our output when the bit or let's say the start button goes from logic 1 to logic 0 so I move to this section I'll do it manually for now and then I will say else so there is an if statement and then if the if is not executed it will execute this else statement okay so we say conveyor underscore one will be equal to zero and then I copy it through quickly change this one to four three two and one so we set all the conveyors to zero when the button is not pressed great And I'll go offline I'll then need to position the this block correctly and then click on the compile there's no errors I download I click on load great 
after downloading is done now i can go online on the main ob okay it's online and then i go online on the blog as well great we can see that the else is being executed so all our output goes to false now and you can see it on the on the block too as well i now activate the input so when the input is activated we can see that the if becomes true the else goes to false and then the output comes on and then we can see that the the case statement is being executed great working fine I now set the input back to false and then we can see that immediately the output is false also to zero working perfectly now what if you want ChatGPT to modify this program now let's do that and I'll go back to ChatGPT and then add something to the first question that we asked that you should add a stop push button to the code that he has already written so I need to go back and copy the code that's one beautiful thing about ChatGPT. so I copy the code and ask him to add a stop push button to this code great and then I click on the enter and then we can see it's doing its own thing giving us a breakdown and then updated the SCL code you can see that it's writing an update the variable is being declared and then we can see the block of code also being written great it now gives us an explanation to what changes is to be applied to this code perfect so we can see in this code we have the variables declared and then we have the if statement where we turn all the conveyors off and then within the else statement that is where we run the case statement now working perfectly and this is basically how you can ask chat gpt to generate code for you and also ask other questions for it to modify the code as well thank you all for watching see you in the next tutorial Bye-bye.